your power, your anointing, your word, your teeth is in this place. And we magnify you. Hallelujah. We understand where your presence is. Oh, Father, we want to dwell in your presence. We glorify you. We come together. Oh, one mind and one accord, Father, we lift up our pastor to you. In the name of Yeshua. Father, we ask that you touch him now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Father, that you will bring order. Hallelujah to his body. Father, we thank you for you anointing him for such a time. And you've given him the ability, that power, that dunamis power to do your will on tonight. Thank you for your word going forth, Father. Thank you for your anointing his voice, Father. Thank you for your anointing his entire being. Thank you for shalom just emanating from his every core, every part of his being. Father, we thank you for your will being done in this place on tonight. We love you. We praise you, Father, for who you are. Thank you for your move. In the name of Yeshua, thank you for your move, Father. Oh, we want to continue to offer a sacrifice of praise unto you. We love you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Come on. If you will, give me your heavenly Father a hand clap of praise on tonight. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. We want to continue to offer praise and, and thanksgiving unto him. Amen. Amen. Because he, you know, he really is so worthy. Some things happen in life and you don't understand why it's going on or what's going on. But it's so comforting to know that his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Yes, yes. And he has us right here in the palm of his hand. Yes. We stay in his will and everything will be all right. Amen. 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 We just love him so much and we want to come together and offer a pure praise unto him. Yes. We offer you praise. We offer you praise. We offer you praise. Please accept our offering. We offer, we offer you praise. Hallelujah. We offer you praise. We offer you praise.
and give your heavenly Father, hallelujah, a hand clap of praise as our pastor comes before you. Come on and thank y'all for Pastor Cornell McCall. Hallelujah.
things that are out of your control. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. And I ain't gonna go in half beat, half caught, not knowing what I'm doing. I mean, know what I'm talking about. Yes. It's the truth in our heart. Amen. But we've been dealing with a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of stuff. Somebody say a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I mean, it's just so much how the Father been flowing and dealing with us on things. And I was just, just listening to him and trying to hear. And and when he gave me a word, I began, I try to go back and connect so we could bridge over into what he's saying and uh, what's going on. And I'm like, man, so I got to tell you, it's just amazing the things that you do. Oh, yeah. I mean, know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I know last time we, we was dealing with the spirit of error versus the spirit of truth. We've been dealing with that for a long, long yes, time. Indeed. And we talked about the bewitching and, uh, and, and, the, and the different things. Y'all remember that? Yes, sir. Being, being sucked into mm -hmm. this, this thing called ecstasy. Yes. Y'all remember that? Oh, yes. Talked about spells and charms, mm -hmm. and being deceived, yes. seduced, and bewitched. And that's basically what the witches do. And you look at it like, you know, a versus thing. I, I, I like those fighting games. Violent nature around me. I had a lot of those fighting games. You know, fighting games uh, have this person versus this person. I, I hate it because I couldn't play. Uh, what it was? Uh, no, I could play Taken. Okay. You know, when my hands get tired on Taken, I can't play it long, but I can play it. I never could get get uh, 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 DC versus uh, uh, Mortal Kombat. Because I want to learn how to fight with Batman. So bad. And I could, now. Don't get me wrong. I, I was I was okay, but my hands would get by. There was just too many weapons to man. And I couldn't fight for long. And I was like, man. I used to watch my trail and, and big money just go around. They used to make Flash invincible. Uh, that's just crazy. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> But anyway, I, I used to, I, I love those, those, those games like that. And, and, and that's not the fault of me showing me stuff. In our life, you know, we got the, right here, we got our flesh versus the spirit. Yes. But if you look at the thing, what we've been dealing with, y'all hear me? I just heard what I said. Right? Um, we look at that thing, when we look at what we've been dealing with, we had that spirit of error versus the spirit of truth. Yes. Then they use witches. You know, the spirit of error use witches. Yes. You know, uh, I'm, I'm just giving a generic name. That's a lot what we going to get into later. And they like witches versus prophet. Yes. The yes. witches deceive and lies and seduce while the prophet preach the truth and proclaim. Yes. And he that has an ear going to hear. Yes. They're going to hear either hear the world or they're going to hear, hear what wow. the spirit of Yah has to say. That's good. Pastor. Then you go, then you go right into this thing called ecstasy. Yes. Where is my pen? I mean, I disappeared. Give me a writing you can There you go. Ooh. We go right into this thing called ecstasy. Ecstasy. Mm -hmm. Ecstasy. We know ecstasy was was. Yeah, let me read what they, what they, what they had down. It, it just tripped me out. Cause I'm trying to find a good definition. You know, something that we could just grab onto. You know how I do. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, we know ecstasy can be deliberately induced. Using religious or creative activities, meditation, music, dancing, breathing exercises. We talked about this last time. Physical exercises, sex, or consumption, or psych psychotropic drugs. Yes. And a lot of times I know, especially they were the coach, they, they would combine it all. Uh -huh. They'll go for meditate, they'll give them drugs, go to meditation, they go to music and they're dancing around. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And then, wow. and then they go right, they have sexual stuff, all that yeah. gives them this, this feeling of euphoric and uh -huh. takes them on over into ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And and I used the word a little too quick there because it says there are uh, <laughs> it says everyday language, the word ecstasy denotes an intense euphoric experience and a euphoric experience and then it says uh, for obvious reasons it is rarely used in a scientific context <laughs> it is a concept that is extremely hard to define yeah i mean euphoric how are you going to find euphoric yeah uh, euphoric when you look it up it says extremely happy yes or excited extremely happy or excited yes and i put happy 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 yes 
<laughs> and when you get to that point, you get into an altered state of consciousness. Now, yeah. now both parties I noticed there, you know, the spirit of truth and the spirit of, of error uses this ecstasy. You know, the spirit of truth, you know, it, I mean, the spirit of, uh, of error takes you there, like I said, uses the drugs and, and it wants to get you addicted. Yes. It wants to get your flesh. It, it, it wants you to produce the works of the flesh. Yes. So it takes you into ecstasy so you can start producing the works of the flesh. Witchcraft, fornication, yeah. all, all those different things. That's the goal of it. To get to let the flesh win. Yes. But the flesh and the spirit are contrary to each other. Y'all hear me, right? Oh, yeah. And then you said, well, how did the spirit of truth use this ecstasy? We talked about this all. I'm just This is a quick synopsis. Mm -hmm. So we move on. But I uh, said, well, how did the spirit of truth? Well, we talked about that. It's the scripture that talks about going into a, 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 a mad, mad, Mad praise, like you know, I lost your mind. I mean, mad, I mean, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean upset. It talks about you know, praise him as if you lost your mind yes. to go out of yourself and just thank him with everything in you with no restraints, no whole bar. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, believe it or not, you go into, and if you do it long enough, you go into this euphoric state, this, yeah. this state, what people call being high, mm -hmm. the state of floating. Yes, float, 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 float. Yes. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes. I told you, you know, it, it, the science, one of the states of it is, is you know it as, as taking, take, catching your wind. Uh, they call it uh, second wind. I ain't been there so long. Let me, catch, let me catch my breath. The second wind phenomenon, that's what it's called, because it's so unique. And, and don't, don't, don't too many creatures have it in. Yeah. And what makes human beings so unique, believe me, I studied it, yes. it's called the capillary king. It just blew my mind. And the reason why I call it capillary because that's what happened. Let's say you're jogging, you first start out to jog, you go on a block, but you get tired. Mm -hmm. And then you push past the block. So you're on a block and a half. Woo! Feel like you're about to fall out, you're all yes. dizzy and everything. And you come back. But you stay consistent at it. Let's say you, you jog five times a week or whatever. And each day you jog just a little bit further, just a little bit further. What happening then? is in your body, the capillaries are getting bigger. Your, your red blood cells are, are getting, the uh, red blood cells carry the oxygen to the rest of the body. They're getting bigger. Mm -hmm. It's like they down there working out. Yes. Uh, and, you, and you know, anybody know what works out? When you work out on a muscle, it swells up and gets big. Yes. Why is that? Because all the blood flows through it in that muscle. Yes. Start sucking up all the energy and get healthy and strong and big. Yeah. Yeah, some people use one arm more than the other one. It ain't had a big arm over here, a little left no. arm over here. <laughs> yes. The dominant arm. Yes. You know, those who work out notice those things. But anyway, that's what in your whole body, that's what goes on. The capillary, capillary. They get bigger and bigger. And pretty soon your capillary is huge. Uh -huh. And what happens is you your capillaries are huge and they hold more white blood cells. And, and so what you do, you start jogging and then you, you get tired. Your body said, hey, reserve, send in the troops. Yes. And it sends up more capillaries. I mean more white blood cells. Right. Red, I'm sorry, red blood cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So say you jogging, the primary muscles you're using is your legs. Yeah. So your brain, your body, so I said we gotta send more oxygen down to the brain. Yes. To, I mean send more oxygen down to the legs. Yes. And so you got uh, 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 you be tired then all of a sudden you like, uh, why? Because your body not jailed it out. Don't think about the human body, they're going to find a way to survive. Thank you, Father. So it starts sending down extra, extra, extra red blood cells. Yes. That's called a capillary. And then what happened to your mind, your mind goes above that, that, that remember that beta wave we talked about? Yeah. The human mind operate on a beta wave. Mm -hmm. And anything, get it out of that beta wave, whether up or down, is going to put you in a euphoric state. Mm -hmm. And that's the natural way people get high. Mm -hmm. Technically, it causes the runners high because they have to jog as quickly than other sports. Yeah. If you're running all the time, woo, woo. when you run, believe it or not, you use every muscle in the body, but primarily legs and stuff. Oh. So, you know, the arm, uh, the capillary keep you doing a natural euphoric state. I listen to Oh, yeah. And gets you high. Everybody knows anybody who ever ran a lot. Mm -hmm. And I used to jog extremely a lot. When you get that place, when you get that second wind going, man, 
you can just think about everything. Yeah. It's like you can solve world problems. <laughs> Serious talk. Uh -huh. You've been watching, you ever, you ever seen on TV, it's 10 below and some idiot out there running. Yes. They be addicted to jogging. People get addicted to it. Uh -huh. they, man, man, I just don't feel right. I need to go for my, my job. And they go run, especially in the morning. You're like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But just like you won't need their coffee, you well, need your you coffee, they need to run. Yeah. Right. They get addicted to it. And addiction is kind of wrong. Mm -hmm. You get the body addicted to the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, <skills. laughs> so it gives anything that knocks that body out of that wave, man. Yes. That's, that's what the trick of the enemy is trying to get you. So when it seduces you, you start smelling. You know, it just. And then it gets to a point where you can't help yourself. Yeah. Serious talk. Yeah. That's the, I can't help it. You get to that state of uh, euphoria, your body just reacts. Mm -hmm. And that's what the enemy tries to seduce you to. Where if you learn how to praise them properly mm -hmm. or get into that state, man, then your mind enters into that. That's not witchcraft or anything. That's the way the human body works. Uh -huh. Try to get to that euphoric state. And that's why scripture tells you to let go of everything and praise them. Shake yes. it off, shake it off, shake it yes. off. You get into that praise and you start moving and bouncing. Then the cares of this life don't pull you down and you don't be tripping. You just be loving on the Father. Mm -hmm. It brings you to euphoric state. And, and you forget that that is natural for us who are not connected to the flesh to dwell in. Because the only reason your beta waves are like that is because of the flesh. Yes. Because you got to operate in this world. Y'all yes. yes. so. Because you have to operate in this world. I just throw a lot of stuff at you. Yes, you did. And we call that an altered state of consciousness. Yes. And people do everything in the world to get there. They huff on drugs. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember when I was in high school, boy, you do that. He said, I didn't know what he was doing. He yeah. said, come here, you know, we were playing around, you know, and he was over there doing something. And I, they was laughing, you know, they was doing PE period. I was like, what's so funny? That's when they come here. I just wanted you to breathe in and out real fast, 30 times. So I did it like a dummy. <laughs> And then dude got behind me and just put his hand and push. And I went, ooh. Oh, no. I mean, I like melted. And and dude was like, <laughs> I hear laughing in the distance. Yeah. I'm like, ooh. And I don't know, I'm scared like I'm finna die. Yeah. I don't know what done happened. And then they start laughing. They thought, oh, you'll, be, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. Just slowly breathe. And my mind came back. I'm like, what? What in the world? Yeah. They tell my we just knocked all the air out you and your body got to come back in. We do that for fun. Boy. But I found out later, that's called huffing. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. You know? But they do it with bags. They get a huffing bag and they'll huff with aerosol can. Oh. The world can get into that state, that euphoric state. It mm -hmm. drives people nuts. And have them doing stupid things. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. listening to me? Oh, yeah. And, and like I said, we don't have to get there. That's a natural state when you move and learn how to move in the spirit. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And like I said, we, we, we talk about the wars and stuff. And I've and I just talked to the Father. What is the deal? Because mm -hmm. he moved us into this thing called Shalom. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. He moved in this thing called Shalom. Now, I know through scriptures that pretty much everything in the kingdom, you're going to use faith hope and charity or faith, expectation mm -hmm. and and love or shum. Shama. 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 And the father he, he, he told me, he said, no, it's not really the spirit of error, but it's just the spirit of, or the Holy Spirit. Because we think, you know, the Holy Spirit is known as the spirit of truth. Right? Yeah. It talks about the spirit of truth versus the spirit of error. You know, it's not really him. There ain't no fight. Like, y'all really have to fight. Okay, yes. You know, it, it, it's really basic. Our spirit is trying to find truth. Yes. And that the spirit of error is trying to work against. The real spirit of truth is the real spirit that's the same word that they use for our spirit or uh -huh. man's spirit or that renewed spirit within you. You're trying to operate in truth, trying to walk in truth. I listen to me. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, I know everything primary in the kingdom, primary has to be moving in faith, hope, and charity. I got really kind of mad this morning. Uh oh. Well, I don't know if you're morning this afternoon. I knew Chanel was on the way. I was like, man, thank y'all, man. Y'all just give you ideas and, and ways how to do stuff. Cause 
you know, if you don't panic, you don't lose your ever loving mind. And I was like, whatever is what yeah. I you get an idea, then of course, you know, thank God for, for, for ministers and elders and people who help each other out. Oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, Premier helping out elders, yes. you know, and Chanel, you know, just doing her what she yes. do naturally. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the blues or something else. Anyway. I'm going, <laughs> yeah. I'm going kind of fast, but I hope y'all catching this and not go back and read it soon. But, <laughs> but you come around and you see they're, like I said, primary faithful and charity. And, and this, I, I was getting ready to come here. I, was, I, had, packed, I had to pack stuff up and everything. And, and I had to run in there and shave. And I tried to go in there and shave. And I had in my room, the TV is on, the TV in. And this Chinese man is talking and all these people in there. He's talking about love. You know, he's talking about how his, his ministry was stagnant in 2006 and 2009. And then it just grew exponentially. And I was, it caught my attention. And I was like, OK, you know. It's like, you know, I know when the father's getting, telling me to chill, I mean, show me something. Uh -huh. And he showed me, and I saw the spirit of error. And I'm like, you know, why am I seeing the spirit of error? Mm -hmm. But then I'm not saying anything about the man. Yeah. I'm just saying the father was teaching me something. And uh, I'm like, you know, all the stuff he's saying, and, you know, it's pretty good, pretty tight stuff. And, and he wasn't talking about love and, and how the father had showed him how in order to get his ministry to grow, grow that the thing is, uh, is that love that neighbor, you know, stuff we already talked about in here. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. We already know that. Mm -hmm. And thy neighbor as thyself. We already know that. Mm -hmm. And then, and then he went to, went to talk and said, you know, hang all the prophets on this, on this thing, love. He, he said they were legalistic. They were trying to do what y'all said. They know that the commandments mean do whatever y'all say. So, if they just love, they're going to do what y'all say. And the spirit like, eh, 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 eh. Red alert, red alert. There it is. Mm, and he read around saying that, you know, we go around, we look for a need, and we try to fulfill a need. Mm. And so they went around and went to this old people, where a bunch of old people say, just looking for something to do. And then saw a need, and then this old person needed help, and they took her to the doctor. And, and everything, and they paid for it. My, my thing is, we get a home direct, right? Just turn it down, just touch. And and they look, and they look for the oil, they help them, they help out, and then all these people came, you know, because they got help. Uh -huh. And they, they said, wow, what do you people do? Is oh, we really love, we, we learned that we look for a need, and we fulfill our need, and we so and so church. And they said, well, will you come pick us up to go? And yeah, and then they went, and they had loads and loads of buses of old people take them to the ministry. And the spirit just like my spider sense just yeah, going off. Yeah. And 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 I'm like, what 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 the spirit showing me, he was like, they done twisted love. Yeah, yeah. That that thing, because they got a lot of people coming, mm -hmm. that that's the right thing. Yeah. And the people coming just like you sure for the fishes in the load. Yes, yes. They, they want free stuff. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with giving away free stuff, but mm -hmm. that's not, yeah. And, and see, they brushed over, like they said, they was legalistic, and that the father told me that. He said, what, what is love? Yes. He said, I told you all the time. If you do, do what I tell you to yes. do. That's love. That's showing love. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. They skipped over that. They just yeah. brushed that out of the way because they, they want to go by the field. And I'm not saying that ministry per se. I'm saying what was presented right. to me yeah. as, as he's saying. And the Father used that to show me something. I'm yeah. not judging that man because I don't know where he's going. Yeah. Like uh -huh. And I've never seen that man before in my life. Mm -hmm. And so the Father began to talk to me. Yeah. And we in here, we, we did a major study on faith. Yeah. And we're still talking about the spirit of fear not having control of us. Yeah. Y'all has not given us a spirit of fear, no, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yes. I don't really think that we get how powerful a statement that is. That has shaped your life for almost the past year. Y'all yeah. has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I mean, really. And so the father told me, he said, just like, somebody said just like. Just like. Just like Shama takes us, without Shama, it takes us into this thing called faith. Mm. He said, so does love 
or shalom is the key to walking by the Spirit. I wrote down exactly how I put it. Shama equals the key to obedience, which is faith, which is connected to faith. And obedience is connected to love. And obedience is connected to charity. All three of those, right? Right. Obedience. Obedience. Yeah. Faith, hope, and charity. Mm -hmm. Faith. What? Knowing that Yah is and Yah has a word of what? Diligent and Okay, you got to do that. Shama is what? This is hearing no obey. So I got to do what y'all say do if I want to move in faith. Yes. Love. If you love me, keep my commandments. So I got to do the commandments or whatever y'all telling me to do. Yes. If I want to operate in love or, or charity or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and hope, which is expected, what and expected something or yes. expecting y'all to do something. Y'all, if, if, without faith, it's impossible to please him. Yes. So I got to have faith. Mm -hmm. and, and with faith, Without works is dead, so yes. I got to do something. What I got to do is what he told me to do, yes. which leads me right back to being obedient to yes. what he said. Mm -hmm. So showing is the key to obedience, which is the key to faith, hope, and charity, which everything in the kingdom moves in. Yes. That's according to 1 Corinthians 13, if you read it to the end, which is what we're studying. Yes. I just told y'all the grand message. Man, that's powerful. But he said just like Shaman was the key to obedience. Shalom is the key to walking and living in the spirit of Yah. Shalom. Okay. Shalom. Somebody say shalom. Shalom. And, and he started us on this shalom thing, and I was wondering, what the world are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, walking in the spirit, living in the spirit. And he said shalom is the key. Somebody say shalom is the key. Shalom is the key. Shalom, shalom. And we talk about shalom a lot, but we really got to learn that shalom, man. Right quick now, I'm just going to read off this thing. Y'all y'all rolling with me? Oh, yeah. Y'all still with me? We, we know shalom is completeness, wholeness, health, peace, welfare, safety, soundness, tranquility, prosperity, perfectness, fullness, rest, harmony, the absence of agitation, and discord. That's shalom. Somebody say shalom. Shalom. Shalom, shalom which is the peace. Of Yah. Yes. Which is Yah's peace. Which is, he said, which shalom is the key to walking and living in by the Spirit of Yah. And we know if we want to defeat the works, uh, uh, the spirit of error, mm -hmm. or the spirit of the Antichrist, mm -hmm. or Satan, or whatever, we have to, somebody say, have to. Have to. Have to learn how to live in the Spirit. Because yes. he said, we live and walk in the Spirit, we won't fulfill. The lust of the flesh. Yes. And the lust of the flesh brings in work. And I'll show you how that works eventually when we get there. So we have to understand and, 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 and get this shalom thing right. Yes. But then what came to me, I'll tell you what came to me was tramping down, fighting. I'm like, what is this fight stuff? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Because you, what you told me is all about. Fight. Matthew 11 and 12, if you have your scriptures. Read it. Matthew 11 and 12. He said, this is why there is fighting. Mr. Boyd, are you rolling with me? Yes, sir. Matthew 11 and 20. 11 and 12. If you want to make it real tight, read uh, 11 and 12. Get that flow thing going. When you get it, just read it. Very early I say unto you, among them that are born of women, where have not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. So we understand. Mm -hmm. He said that ain't not been bigger than John the Baptist. But the point I want to make, y'all saw what I saw, right? Mm -hmm. And from the day of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of heaven did what? Suffer and violence. Suffer and violence. The kingdom of heaven, what? Use its force. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Apply force. Yes. That definition also means to force, inflict violence upon. Mm. 
the kingdom of heaven is attacked. And the violent or the one that is being attacked, the strongest one, yeah. the one with the most strength, <laughs> take it by force. Wow. Wow. Then that strong man, I mean, I mean my, uh, my sister, uh, Sister Valerie, yeah. she was a, in her lifetime, she was a, a elder, she was an evangelist, oh, she was a missionary, yeah. she, she, she was, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know if she ever passed her, but I know she had people following her. Yeah. I mean, she, she did it all, and she used to always talk about, she did it all according to the, you know, the church offices mm -hmm. and stuff. And she always talked about that strong man. Yeah. Wow. That was a revelation y'all gave her. I used to listen to her talk about it. She always talked about that strong man. She used to just love that strong man. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about. She will flip over on this scripture right here. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the strong man, the strong one, the fourth one who's the most forced, yeah. the one that's the strongest win. Yes. Take it by force. Yes. Another scripture, he said, how do you, how, you cannot take a person's good or a strong man good unless you first buy the strong man. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What this fighting stuff is all about. Wow. Who's the strongest? Yes. The strongest take it by force. You know, Yeshua took the keys. Yes. Because he was a strong man. Right uh, there, that. Yes. Take it. Somebody said, take it. Take, take it. it. Uh, last night, this eyes were blue. I've been wanting to see this picture for a long time. Battleship came. Ooh. Oh, wow. And I was watching Battleship. You told everything. And it was so good. <laughs> and, and, and everybody knows who's seen the preview that that that, 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 that that the thing that comes down mm -hmm. is strong. Yes. Everybody's seen it. You know, seen them running around chasing it. I know everybody's seen the, the preview, uh -huh. the trailer. And so we had to see who was the strongest. Yes. Strongest don't always mean muscle. Right. Strongest don't always mean fastest. Uh-huh. Strongest don't always mean the most talented. Yes. Strongest is who wins. Yes. The stronger man wins. I was watching, and I don't want to watch it, but he got off on this word, Rossman and his name was talking about, um, this punk dude was talking to John Cena. I was like, you're at turn the TV, man. Let me stand all that. But I hear everything. Mm -hmm. And he still saying, uh, Cena ain't never what punk. And Cena's supposed to fight Rock. For the championship, WrestleMania. And, and he said, Punk telling the scene, I already seen that show. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> you lost the first time. And, and, and Punk said, You shouldn't be headlined because you ain't never whooped me. Well, there you go. And John Cena said, You right, you know, all the time we fought, I have never won. No matter how I talk, no matter what, you know, it comes down to it, I have never won. <laughs> He said, so I'm going to fight you, and if you beat me, you get to go to WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins on Monday night. Mm -hmm. You win, huh? Strong man wins. Mm -hmm. I was listening to Barkley talk. Yeah. And he had made a crack on, on Shaq. <laughs> Shaq was sitting up there talking, and, 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 and Barkley said, I tell you, what, won't you go squeeze in that car again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about that commercial. Why don't you go squeeze yes. in that car again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, he did it too. Oh, if he did, I think Shaq did. Shaq stood up. Everybody said, "Ooh, Shaq stood up and pointed to him." <laughs> and Barbara was talking, and Shaq sat down and looked at Ken and said, "Ken, we don't talk to nobody. We don't have no brains." Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, he couldn't say nothing for that. Yeah. He couldn't say nothing like. They say, who's the baddest? 
Talk went to Michael Jordan, the baddest basketball player they ever walked on a basketball court, top of shin tennis shoe, and shoot a basketball through some hoops. <laughs> He said, they said, who's the baddest basketball player now, Mr. Jordan? Is it Kobe or is it LeBron James? And Michael Jordan said, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, yes. if I look at them both, it's a close call, but five beats one every time. Mm -hmm. He said, Kobe got five championships, LeBron got one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, it comes down to that ring. When everything even, you look at the championships. Hey, hey. And, he, and and like like uh, 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 one man said, said Kenny said Kenny the Jet Smith said it ain't like I'm saying that Kobe can't get more championships because at the same age he is now, 28, Michael Jordan only had one championship. Ah. LeBron. At his age now, 28, got one championship. Yeah. He said Michael Jordan at his age only had one championship. There you go. So it's time. You want to tell it? And tell it's that. time for Kobe to win. Mm. And no. I said, wow, the yeah. strong man wins. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can say what you could have, would have, should have, but you ain't got the trophy. Yeah. I'm talking about legal meetings and stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about when it was all said and done. Right. That's what the kingdom of heaven is. Wow. If battle is to give it to the swift and the strong, well, but go. he didn't do it to the end. Yes. Take it by force. Yes. You know, sitting around looking crazy. So anything that over the kingdom, I got to get it. Yes. He just will be handed it to me. I got to go and get it. Right. Mm -hmm. I got to put some faith behind that thing. I got to go and get it. And expect resistance. Yes. Because as a strong man, got whatever belongs to me. Yes. Whatever the father says is mine, it's been, it's somebody that I've got it. Yes. Because he finished the works for creation, then he rests. And so somebody got it so I can expect resistance. Yes. But I can expect greater is on the inside of me. Yes. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Run and tell that. Yes. That's why I'm ambassador of Yeshua. Right. And I got to learn to only do what he tells me to do and not yes. be some very my crazy stuff. Yes. As people often get off track in that uh -huh. euphoric state of yes. mind. Yes. I'm going to win the world for Yeshua. I'm going to do more than what I've got. Oh, it don't seem like I'm prospering. Because somebody done feel something in your mind yes. and got you trying to prosper according to the flesh. That is just one of the biggest downfall in taking over the kingdom. And I'll show you where that's coming oh, from man. later on. Yeah, but, but it's coming when people try to do spiritual things according to the flesh. Yes. Try to fulfill a vision according to the flesh. Or they'll take a, a vision of the flesh and put it up and say it's a spiritual thing. Ooh. And all of that got to do with euphoric feelings. And I, I, I can show you how it works. Oh, my goodness. We'll get there. Man. But say it got to be taken. It got to be taken. And I got to take it. And I got to take it. Come on, let's go to one of me too. Uh, 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 Matthew 6. I'm going to trust me. Yeah, you want to start. Matthew 6 and uh, 25. Now, 6 and 25. Now, remember, I was, I was, I was actually father and he was talking about this, uh, this, this, uh, he was showing me fighting and stuff and all this stuff. And I was like, man, what has all that got to do with whatever it is, whatever? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah. And he, and he, he said, okay, and he showed me because he said, came across me, what's the opposite? Remember, I told you the key to us walking in the spirit is what? Peace is shalom. Shalom, shalom is the key. Yes. Somebody said, shalom is the key. Shalom is the key. Shalom is the key. Shalom is key. You know, he said, I give you what? The key to what? Death, hell, and the grave. Yes. Where is shalom? I'm show you how shalom fit in. Oh, whoo, glory. It's a lot. 
Let me show you, but not tonight. It's kind of take my time so you can get it. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. So. Now let's go to Matthew 10, chapter. came up like a faith, worried, fearful, restless, nervous. These were synonyms of words that similar mean the same thing yeah. as insecurity. Wow. Are you mm, yes, sir. And so on, on, wow. on, on word perfect, the words war came up and then behind it came verse like uproar, chaos, argument, mm. noisy, disturbance. Now these were, 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 were antidems to, in, to, 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 to um, peace, to shalom. Yes. Are you with me? Oh yeah. The word peace, mm -hmm. peace, peace, peace. So antidem to peace are war, uproar, chaos, arguments, noisy, wow. well, noisy disturbance, I'm sorry. Yeah. War, uproar, chaos, argument, noisy disturbance, and you got insecurity, mm -hmm. disturbance, and sending them to insecurity were very fearful, restless, nervous, lack of faith. So if they're sending them to insecurity, most of the time it'll be an antonym also of peace. Yeah. Because all of those words are saying the same thing. Right. Everybody, hear me out. Yes, sir. Wow. Thank so you, I looked Father. at all these things, and it was amazing Thank to you, me. Father. Because I look up insecurity. Uh -huh. Tell me now it's on the dictionary.com and it works quite easy. Just click on a little do. <laughs> and it said a lack of confidence or assurance. Self doubt. Hmm. A lack of confidence or assurance. Self doubting yourself. Ooh, insecurity. The quality of state of being insecure. Something that's insecure. So a little blue thing say click on me. That's okay. I click on <laughs> insecure. Yes. And I got subjects to fears, doubts, not self-confident or assured. Mm -hmm. Subject, you easily bow down to fear and doubt. And we've been that old subject on fear and doubt and disbelief. Yeah. And you know that God's not giving us a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. And then over here it said not confident or certain, uneasy, anxious. Somebody said anxious. Anxious. Is it not secure, exposed, or liable to risk, loss, or damage? And insecure start for you, for the sins. Not firmly or reliably placed or fastened and insecure lateral. So insecurity, we see all this fear and doubt, this lack of faith and, and all this stuff. That is the opposite of peace. And that, according to the Father, it is our enemy 
if we want to stay here in Shalom. That is trying to get us, the enemy wants us to move or, 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 or get us to move in that type of stuff. Yes. Also, we know that when we look at Shama, we understand that Shama is bigger than peace. And there's, there's, are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. Well, we read all the things that included in Shama. Shalom. I mean, thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shalom. Somebody say Shalom. Shalom. Whenever I say uh, uh, peace, most time I'm talking about Shalom. I get Shama and Shalom because you're going to see at the end the results of everything. It's going to be Shama Shalom. But when we, when we move in Shalom, we move in Shalom, we, we saw there's more than just peace. There are yes. bigger things than peace, right? Right. So, 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 so I'm talking to just about a little piece of peace. Just piece of peace. Just ah. piece of Shalom. Yes. Shalom. Yeah, got so, you about this fighting thing. So, how are you supposed to be moving in peace? And you talk about fighting. And the kingdom of war, some of the violence, the violence take about four, but yet there's insecurity, there's all this stuff, and we're supposed to be fighting, yet we're supposed to be projecting. How are you supposed to project peace, and then we're supposed to fight at the same time? What yeah. is going on? Because yeah. you got to remember the strong man wins, and, he, and that's why we have verses in Scripture, leaders and guidance. It takes us back to Matthew 10 and 32. Come on, Mr. One. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So if you confess me before men, I confess you before my Father. If you open up your mouth, if yes. you're saying the same thing I'm saying, mm -hmm. that will confess me. Not right around saying I'm a Christian and doing the opposite. <laughs> but if you're saying the same thing I'm saying, if you're doing what I say do, not what you think I said do, not what somebody told you I said do, but finding out what I said and, yes. and put some time in uh, and do what I say do. Uh, you submitting yourself, you finding out. Well, that's what confess means. Yes. You going out just like you should, went out for his father, not confused about what he had to do, not self-doubting himself that the father sent him, but he went about saying that the father sent me. And this is what I'm supposed to do. Well, there you go. And he ain't try to do other than that. But this is what I'm supposed to do. Yes. And then we, we go about and we have so much doubt in our mind. We supposed to understand that we are ambassadors of Yeshua, which so not people don't talk about. Yes. And we supposed to represent Yeshua like Yeshua represents on the earth. We're showing the world a picture of the Father. And yes, yes, everything we do, the motive behind it is love, that agape love. But mm -hmm. we understand that that agape love really just doing what the Father say do. Right. Yes. Because we love him more than anything else. He's a strong man. Yes. Ooh, okay. yeah. So if you confess me before uh -huh. men, I'm gonna confess you before my father. Yes. That's how the kingdom works. Yes. I told you that. Mm -hmm. The humility, humility day. Come on, read next one. Yes. Thank you, Father. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father which is in heaven. That's the opposite. He that is insecure and go around displaying wow. insecure, but yet saying I'm a Christian. Wow. Saying this is how Yeshua works. I'm telling everybody that I'm saved, but walk around and insecure, oh walk around goodness. worried, walk around fearful, walk around restless and nervous and no faith whatsoever. Walk around in chaos all around them, just making chaos. Walk around argument, walk around with noise and disturbance, just messing up things and causing all this chaos. That ain't professing what y'all said. That ain't what Yeshua did. Yeah. One time Yeshua caused trouble when y'all told him to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you confuse, you're walking around doing confusing things. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why the world wants you so so much, so bad. The world's trying to get you to believe in love. So you can go out and start guessing. I'm just going to pick any answer. I'm going to guess and hope by luck that I get it right. Uh, Instead of knowing. Who y'all don't like it right now? You tell the truth. Though. See, see when, you, when you're moving Shaman, you know you're moving in Shaman. Mm -hmm. You got to know who you are. If you don't understand anything I ever taught him, I already said, remember who you are. Right. You got to know I can't do what... That one to do. I know that flesh want to do it, but I can't do it. Yes. I got to do what's right. 
if you confess me. I was reading in my book. I was reading in my book on the adventures with my beautiful wife, Bobby. She's a lovely woman. She bought me a lovely book. That's a lovely book. Camara showed me Brother Senior uh, gift where he got her. Ride out, Brother Senior. Ride out. You ride, boy. You ride. That thing was off the chain. Ooh, that was off the chain. Mm -hmm. You got some skill, Brother Senior. Yeah. I taught you well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't remember that. Where did it come from? Green Lantern. Oh. Green Lantern. Take all that reach back. Mr. Point, tell them, tell them where that come from off the movie Green Lantern, please, please. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, 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 are you talking about uh, when he when he hit him in the back and said, "Can I train him?" Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's where it come from. Boy. <laughs> I it. That's where it come from. And when when yeah. after how I say the world, mm -hmm. Killer Wall said, "Can I train him?" Okay, I drank. Yeah. Hmm? What do you say? So you didn't say it. No, I didn't quote it, but I'm saying that's why I did this one. Well, I'm doing something wrong. Green Lantern! Yeah! Makes everything. Yes, it does! Yeah, you born. I can't. Not worthy. But anyway, we are talking about, like I said, we got to say. The same thing that Yah is saying. Yes. We, if we do other than that, we are denying Him. Yes. And, and like I said, they, they brought to the Captain America. Remember, we learned about Tony Stark and Tony Stark. Where, where they, they had that 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 funny word. My wife yes. was called in. I have a teller yeah, tell us that word, but it's you to tell it as is. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you to tell us we talk about it. And they said Captain America was exactly different. Then you were terrorist over there, yes. And that for those of you who don't understand what you the terror the terrorism is, and that means that whatever it takes to get the good results, that's what they do. And whatever was right or wrong, that's what they do. An action that creates more good than bad in the world is ethical in the action that require that creates most good compared to the bad is the most ethical required. And like we said, the example was when the Iron Man used the Thunderbolt team to get the, in the Civil War, to get superheroes that was against him. Are you with me? Oh, yes. I'll be trying to move back. Yes, Janet. <laughs> that was interesting. You said Iron Man. That's it. I'm going home. Keep my children going home. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about it because it's throwing it off track. Y'all understand what we're talking about, right? Yes. I'm waiting for the. So, <laughs> I'm laughing at that because the alarm came up and said, shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we start on time. But anyway, well, we understand that you're the tatterism and stuff, right? Yes. The human tatter tatterism and stuff, saying that yeah. no matter what, as long as the result is good, that's what we're going to do. Mm. So over here, I'm just going to read that Tony exemplifies your terrorism, Captain America. And see, this this would trip me out. My wife asked him, who's my favorite superhero? And I thought she was going to say Batman. Uh -huh. Or Green Lantern. Yeah. She said, you know, if I was to look around here, I'd say you love Captain America more than the rest of the end of the I said, you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Captain Cap America. Cap? Yes, or Captain America. I got the shield. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I yeah. got pictures signed by the artist yeah. who, who drew the pictures. I got, oh, Cap, it's the man. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. It said, Cap provides a shining example of denotology. Denotology. Now, dictionary.com. <laughs> yes. So denotology is ethics, especially that branch dealing with duty, moral obligation, and right action. 
In other words, for us, we know Yah tell us what to do, and that's the right action regardless. Uh -huh. And it says here, Captain America is going to do the right action regardless of what. He's going to follow the orders. He's going to do what he is told. Right. Is it to me? He is the right thing. If it's falling out there, morality, or what is right. Are you listening to me? Yeah. It's a cat provides a shining example of the ontology, which judges the morality of action and of themselves according to the general principles of duties rather than the consequences. In other words, not worried about how it turned out, but just doing what we know is right right now. Is that the concept between deontology and unitarianism is often put in the terms of right and the good. In which, listen to the language, the good is quantity to be maximized while the right is sometimes to be adhered to. Stop, here goes an example. Stopping the dynamo's heart. This is what Iron Man did. He stopped dynamo's heart to get a good, or get the right result or whatever, get the results that he wanted. And then started to back up. And, I, and, and Captain America said he was wrong for doing that. That's killing Captain America because what if his heart went to start back? Are you with me? Uh, hmm? Plus one, Captain America. I don't know what you said. One for Captain America. Okay. The Unitarians, we talked about that. They said, you know, whatever, you can do whatever you want to do as long as. The good result happened. Mm -hmm. Or the right result, or whatever, however they want it, they, whatever they think should be. In other words, if a mirror is still is stealing something, mm -hmm. and even though I know it's wrong to lie, if I want to catch her stealing and lie, it's okay. Boy. It's okay that I lied to her about something so that she could go in and steal. To them, they said, well, the stealing stops, so that's okay. That's a unitarianism. Captain America said, no, I ain't lying. Yes. We gotta, it's got to be another way. Mm -hmm. Stopping Dynamo's heart is the most expedient way to a good result, but to count, it simply wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. Captain Mary looked and said, that's wrong, that's murder to me. Are mm -hmm. you stopping that man's heart? We're out here saying, okay, you basically killing him, in my book, trying to get him to just stop doing whatever he's doing. Whatever well, start his heart back up. It's too many options. You don't know where it's gonna start back up. You don't even know what kind of heart that man got. Da da da. No. Yeah. That makes sense. He said, "When a unit plan is too much." In the real world, check this out. In the real world, torturing terror terror suspects and placing wiretaps on phones are prime examples. In the Civil War, we see such things as building the negative zone. And enlisted thunderbolts. The negative zone is a, is like another dimension where they put the superheroes who wins who want to tell the whole world who they are and sign over. And the thunderbolts were a, a illegal, a group full of murderers and and uh, super villains who said, "Hey, this is who we are," and then they got signed up to catch superheroes. Now everybody said, "Ooh, that's wrong," and because it is. So such action considered intrinsically wrong cannot be justified by their consequences, but rather take their otherwise y'all don't have no clue of what I'm talking about. No problem. I got this. I'm read this one. I'm gonna stop. Keep in mind, the utilitarianism said, "Bump what y'all say for the moment. I got to win the world for your shoe. So I got to lie. I got to." do what they do. I got to dress this way in order to fit in. I got to cuss a little bit so that I may win them to Yeshua. I got to I got to be something that Yeshua told me not to do. I got to break his laws in order that I can save their soul. So I'm gonna go to this party and I'm gonna drink a little bit. You know, so they don't be suspect to it. Then I'm gonna hit them with the word and as long as they get saved, uh, and ain't going to talk about salvation. I'm just going to talk about what we do in our ministry or in our church. So just to get them to try to come over. And, and then when they dare, you know, we'll win them in. So I'm, I'm going to do this, you know. And, and that's how they do it. Yeah. Well, okay, well, RTM said, bump that. Yes. Whatever y'all say do, that's what I'm going to do. Like in his word, he said, don't kill, so I ain't killing. I'm not lying. That's right. 
I'm not breaking his commandments because he said I wouldn't have to. You know, I don't roll like that. What's up? I don't. I don't worry about that. I, I got to what? Seek my daily bread. Yes. Do what I say do. Yes. Now, she have no other gods before me. That's what I'm going to do. Yes. And, and then it goes on and says, one advantage that demotility seems to have over you and terrorism, one advantage Captain America got over Iron Man. Iron Man is that it doesn't require us to calculate or compare good and bad consequences for every decision. Right. Every decision we make, we don't have to say, well, is that going to turn out good? Lord. That's what it's saying. Yeah. That we, as Captain America, whatever I decide, I ain't worried about whether the result yeah. of it turned out good. Yeah. Why? Because he said Cap wouldn't have worked out the pros and cons of inviting the Thunderbolts to his cause. Mm -hmm. Rather, he just would never have considered it. Yeah. We don't consider doing wrong that right may come. Yes. The scripture said, don't do evil to evil. Mm -hmm. And it said, don't do evil that good may come. Rather, he just never would have considered it because he would regard it as wrong to deal with confirmed killers. Mm -hmm. He ultimately rejects the Punisher offer to join an anti-registration movement for the same reason. Mm -hmm. The Punisher was somebody who went around killing folks that he thought was wrong. And Captain America said, I can't team up with you. Get yeah. away. Yeah. I'm killing folks. I can't, I can't, and, and, and how that relate to us? I can't. Scripture said, be not unequally yoked. Yes. I can't run around acting like, acting like you know what I'm saved. I mean, you saved and you're not saved. I can't do that. I can't, I can't two walk together unless they agree. Yes. Unless they agree. I got to say exactly what Yeshua say. Mm -hmm. There's a war going on. I got to say exactly what Yeshua say. I got to roll in peace. Yeah. See, when I, y'all don't understand. When I'm rolling in what Yeshua say, I have my confidence. Yeah, Stupid. What I know he got my back. I know he's gonna do just what he said do. Yes. Come on, Mr. Bonner, come on. Read verse 34. Yes. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't. He said, I thought we was peace. <laughs> I thought we were learning how to roll in peace. <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, think not that I am come to send peace. To send, we look at the word send, that means to scatter. Mm -hmm. That's talking about scatter, just throwing it out there. One definition said to throw or let go of a thing without caring where it falls. Mm -hmm. To scatter or throw out, cast into yeah. peace. See, it, like I said, with the word, the soil went to sow. Sometimes so means to scatter, throw that word out there. Yeah. And that's why you, you don't take that precious piece or the precious thing of y'all and just throw it out there. Yes. He said you to proclaim the gospel. That's scattering now. Yes. The gospel, Yeshua died for your sins. You could be saved. Mm -hmm. And he that has an ear will, will take it. Mm -hmm. But peace is something different. Yeah. Yeah. Peace ain't for everybody. Yes. Everybody ain't going to get it. Yes. Don't think that I have come to just scatter peace to throw it out there on the earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. I come to make things violent. Mm -hmm. I come with a large knife. <laughs> see, and see, the, 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 the man who was talking about that love thing was saying, you know, he, he read that when Yeshua said that. The father said the son in the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I said, don't leave out through him. His mission in him was when the sure came wasn't to punish. Come on. His mission, now listen to me, mm -hmm. was to die and show us Yeshua that you and I can know how Yeshua is and that we might live life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't doing that, you ain't on this team. Bottom line. And I'm going to show it to you. He said, I come not to send peace, get a real peace, yeah. but a sword. I come with a sword. Why he got the sword? What's the sword for? Come yeah. on, Mr. Bonnerita. For I have come to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Come on. And 
the man's foes shall be they of his own household. There you go. Come on. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Okay, let me tell you what he's saying. Are you yeah. listening? Yeah, yeah. He said, I am condescend peace. I got this sword. I am condescend it's going to get violent. Yes. Why? What he saying? I have come to set a man at variance. What that means? He said he coming and he cutting things in half. Yes. He cutting and he divided. That's what he said. I come and I'm, you're going to have to make a decision. Yes. That's what he said. Um, that sword is always the word in scripture. That word going to go out and you're going to have to decide. That word cuts, scripture yes. tells us. Yes. It defines. That's what it does. And you're going to have to make a decision. Yes. Am I going to do what Yeshua said? Or am I going to do what I want to do? Yes. Whatever you decide to do more than what Yeshua said, that means you love it more. Yep. Because Yeshua said, if you love me, you'll do what I say. Yep. So whatever, when he tells you to do something, you don't do it. You do what you want to do. You love you more than you love Yeshua. Well, and then just like y'all said, Yeshua came in the Father's name. Yeshua said, the words I speak are not mine, but my Father. So he's saying, you love you love yourself more than you love God, oh, uh, Father, and Yahweh. Yeah. So what they're saying, they're, they're saying, that you have know the gods before me. They're saying, you're in trouble. Yeah. I'm drawing a line in the sand. That's what he said. Yes. I'm cutting. I'm dividing. Yes. Who that put love family more than me is not worthy of me. Yes. Y'all don't like me right now. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. See, we want peace, <coughs> but we want to do what we want to do. Yeah. And we'll never have peace. We'll never have peace that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this. Uh, Psalms 38. I'm just going to show you this real quick on Psalms 38. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go back to this. Okay. Because you've got to understand as long as you're sinning, you're going to never have no peace. Mm -hmm. Just read Psalms 38 and 3. We won't end up coming back to this. But. Some of you miss one. There is no silence in my flesh because of thy anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. There is no silence in my flesh because of thy anger. I know you upset at me. <laughs> Neither is there any rest. There it is. That word that word rest. God. I bet you can't give them that word rest. Yes. Yes. We well, ought to know it means shut it down. Yes. There is, there is any neither is there any neither is there any shalom in my bones because of my sin there you go. when you are there sinning there is no shalom and without shalom you can't walk in the spirit yes it ain't gonna happen why why i know y'all don't like me why because when you sin, your body knows that it ain't right. You don't have that spirit. I show it to you. You'll be able to see it as clear as day. Mm -hmm. And you will be anxious. You will be nervous. Yes. Matthew 6. Mm -hmm. Y'all get some out of this? Yes, sir. Yes. Matthew 6. And we're going to start at, I know you know the verses. But we're going to start in verse 19. What is it? Come on, Mr. Warner. Matthew 6, 19. Lay not up your, for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where the moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Don't lay up stuff. All this stuff, this earthly stuff that you want. You sure I'll tell you straight now, don't don't lay it up. Don't 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 make no vault, no secret thing. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Don't heap up. Don't accumulate a whole bunch of natural riches and make that your heart. Yes. Because you say, come where your treasure is, that's where your heart is gonna be. Yes. Don't store up on now. Is that saying I can't have a bank account, I can't make no. He's saying don't make that. 
your heart. Yes. So, because your motives, everything you do is going to be where your heart is at. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Don't try to save or interfere. God told you to give, and you won't give. Yeah. You won't take nobody nowhere because you ain't got enough gas, or you ain't got no gas money, or you that gas got to last you. And y'all told you to do it. Yeah. You have you 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 you, you have to armor yourself. Yeah. And no, I'm trying to save. Bro. I got to save. Oh, oh y'all, you don't understand. I ain't gonna do it. I know you want me to give, but I ain't gonna give. Not now. I gotta hold on to this. Okay. Keep laying up yourself natural stuff. Yes. Keep making that your your heart. You 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 trust that natural thing more than choice. Yeah. They're gonna lead you right into a very. You're going to lead you to mammon, with mammon, with your very, you're just going to want more and more and more because you're not going to feel confident. Yes. You're not going to feel trustworthy. You're not going to feel safe unless you know you got stuff in the bank. Yeah. Unless you know you got money in the bank. Unless you know you got a good car. Unless you know you got this, you got gas, you got clothes in the closet. You're not going to feel confident unless you already see. I got to see. I got to know I got it. Mm. Cause you start laying up treasure, and that's it. You become insecure, yes. and you slip right into insecurity, which is the opposite of where we want to go. Y'all yes. listening to me? Oh yes. And he tells you, don't do that. Don't store up. Don't don't do that because it's the little things. I ain't yes. gonna give this week, cause I know you put up on my heart. Cause he tells us when you're at home, you see that, and that's what makes me so sick. At, People so idiotic. Yes. They got come to the come to the place of Yah. They know they're gonna be in another state. Mm -hmm. Their mind gonna be floating around. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna be thinking about the bills. Yes. And they're gonna do whatever the man say do. So when he get them under his spell, uh -huh. get them in a euphoric state and say, "Give me a thousand dollars, and I'll pray for healing in your home." They do it. <laughs> yes. The scriptures say what? When you at home, yes. you pray and ask the Father how much you want me to give. That's scripture. Yeah. But you won't hear that because they'll say, well, you got to send the extra thousand dollars and you high and you drunk. Yeah. I'm watching this show. I ain't going to say the name of it. I'm watching this show. And then, man, he was drunk. Mm -hmm. He was drunk and this woman she wanted a chicken burrito. A chicken burrito. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm going to get you a chicken burrito. He dead drunk. And he ran across to the 7 Eleven and they closed. Uh -huh. So he had, she's so drunk. He, he said, I'm going to get this girl this chicken burrito. Mm -hmm. So he broke into the 7 Eleven. He climbed on top of the roof. Went into the vent and <laughs> fell through the vents on the other side. Woo! Got the chicken burrito. He's drunk now. Yeah. Got the chicken burrito and put the money yes. on the thing like he paying for the chicken burrito. Yeah. And climbed back out. They got all this on camera. That's how you see it. <laughs> he climbed back out and fall back through again <laughs> and knock all over everything. Next thing you know, you see the police. They coming and he running down the street. <laughs> Where he running? He got a chicken burrito in his hand. <laughs> and he running all the way back to the girl. And the girl standing like, oh my goodness, she come outside and see what's going on. Everybody in the bar come outside. He running. Police chasing him. And then they shoot him with a taser. <laughs> he fall down. A couple of feet by me from about for me to real. Yeah. And then he gets back up. <laughs> and here's the woman with the chicken burrito. <laughs> And then he gets shot again and he fell down. <laughs> and she like, he was there for my life. Boy. He was in a euphoric state of mind, not thinking clearly. Yes, he might have loved her, but he broke all these laws, Iron Man. Yes. You can't break that in the store. Yes. Just because you're in love with this woman. Yes. You can't kick in the door. It's not a national emergency. Oh my goodness. That's not right. Yes. I wanna I ain't steal it, but I caused all kinds of damage in yes. the door. Yes. <laughs> well I'm saying seven eleven. It's a store, seven, oh, store yes. look like seven eleven. Mm -hmm. 
Are you, are you listening to me? Yes. The one who locked the door, how was close, he locked the door. He's about, oh, lock the door, the burrito is right there. Uh, uh, it's too late to be eating chicken burritos. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I Right here, 22 oh, said the light, you, you know, what did 22 say, Mrs. Warren? 21, I'm sorry, what does 21 say? 21 says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm. Where your treasure is, what is your treasure? Mm -hmm. Saying to some, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Who come to your mind? Mm. See, you should come to mind, yeah. but I know without him, I will have nil. I wouldn't have whatever. And the same picture he tells this girl, same picture he tells her, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm. Well, the best thing happened to me is Yah. Yes. And because of Yah, I was able to get married. Yes. No Yah, no married finance. Mm -hmm. So the best thing, mm -hmm. he constantly giving me advice, yes. leading and guiding me, you're the best thing yes. that ever happened to me. I don't have to go. In love, my gratitude, I give to you. You know, I give honor to whom honor is due. Yes. See, some people, when the best thing they think of a loved one, they think of money. They think, the best thing ever yeah, That's where your treasure is. There you go. And that's how you get in trouble. Somebody said, get in trouble. Get in trouble. And we're in 24. Read 24 for me. Let's go. I got to go. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else you will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. And some of y'all think y'all were lying when he said that. Uh, uh, uh. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve God and money. You can't serve God and affairs. You can't keep being greedy, holding things into yourself, storing up stuff for a rainy day when it ain't raining, and y'all told you to do something completely different. Yes, we have classes where we learn how to prepare for for a disaster, but that ain't that's different. Yes. And even in that, we're supposed to be giving. You see the thing about to run out of date, you're supposed to be checking it once a month. Yep. You see the thing running out of date, you're supposed to give it away. Mm -hmm. Either eat it up or give it away or so not let it go bad. Yes. I'm going to pay for this by Jiminy Cricket. Ain't nobody get out. I throw it away first. Oh, what? People think like that. Mm. Uh -huh. That doesn't matter about RTM. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. But see, as long as you have that mentality, and that's what people say. They, they, they say they say it. They say they're Christian. That's why I said, don't call me that. That ain't what y'all said to call me to be. No. Nowhere he told me to become a Christian. Mm. And believe me, I done read these scriptures pretty good. <laughs> I may not have read the whole thing, because mm -hmm. I think I did, but you can think and think wrong. Hello, Sometimes Lord. I read scripture. I'm like, how could I read the whole Bible and not never seen this before? Yes, exactly. You can read the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm kind of way I might have skipped the book of Deuteronomy. Stop it. <laughs> Oops. What do you mean there's the book of Leviticus? Where did that come from? Oops. <laughs> oh, New Testament. I love that. I read that 50,000 times. Boy. And I be riding that strong in the Old Testament until they say it's yeah, the book of law. <laughs> Boy. We can get on. Let me see. Here's the rest of that bit of numbers. Can we get to Joshua? Oh, Joshua. Oh, yeah. Judges. Can we get Judges and yes. get on the roof? <laughs> roof kind of, roof like so proper to me, too. I'm like, I'm like, we move on past that. <laughs> we move to the Chronicles. When you get to the Chronicles, I go to the book of Joshua. It's time to read the book of Joshua. Boy. You understand Chronicles until I get Joshua. <laughs> and what do you tell me? Yes, I read the whole Bible. Yes, yes. yes I'm a pastor. I read the whole Bible. <laughs> I read a verse out of every body, book of the Bible. Woo! But right here they say you cannot serve to nothing. If we stay the thing, we could do it, and that's why you have no peace. You have no confidence. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand that, that when you ain't got confidence, you lose every time. It's natural and true. Yes. In, in natural life and in and, and, and the spiritual thing. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. It's simple thing. Everything you do, the Father starts changing stuff. So you have to. Somebody say have to. Have to. You have to do the little things correctly. Case in point, for instance, today I was talking to my daughter. I was talking to her. And, I, and then I said, I said, go. I said, I want to say thank you. I, I go ahead, young Jedi. Yes. 
But I didn't see Jedi. You know why the Spirit told me not to? And I put down Young Warrior. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to see Jedi. Mm -hmm. But I can't. Because if you look up Jedi, it's a group of people out there who call them to worship, who worship according to how Jedi worship. And they call themselves Jedi. Wow. Jedi. And I'm not going to get that authority in my life. Mm -hmm. When I talk about Jedi, I'm talking about Star Wars. Yes. And I got my Jedi sword, and I will show it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, in the, you get into reality, I ain't calling nobody no Jedi. Okay. I ain't calling nothing like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we playing around talking about Star Wars? Yes, we get Jedi. Mm -hmm. They worship. I mean, how crazy. I said, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> I mean, just the New Age religion, what they're teaching with the Jedi worship, but anyway, the point I'm trying to make is because y'all told me to do that little thing. Yeah. And if I would have done it, then I'd have been in disobedience. Yes. And so what? That that simple text that I signed would have been in vain and one that had no ground to stand on. Yeah. But see, how you move in confidence? How, how can you be so bold and stand that past and pray for folks and say, thus said your Lord, thus say Yah. Why, how, how you do that? I, I do it in faith like I do everything, like I live my life. Mm -hmm. Last week I told you, man, I got kicked to sleep over there. But how, how many know you fall down but you get back up? Hello, thank you, Father. And if you, even if you need some help from Mr. Buana and, yeah. and Elder, Elder Felina and, and uh, uh, big money rare, all of them, and, and then I saw Minister yes, Chanel. All of them doing what they're supposed to do, coming around, picking me up, making sure I'm okay. No, the and, huh? Empty, not big money. Brother MT, I thought I said Brother MT. But anyway, he had me over there, picking me up, Brother MT and the rest of them, picking me up, and guess what? What? Anybody else would have sat down for the rest of the day? Well, yeah, I would. Anybody else's name ain't funny. Yeah. Cause you know why I have to get up by faith. Yeah. Cause he ain't win. He ain't the strong man. Yes. <laughs> you can't, yeah, it did yeah. make me man. It made me real upset. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get upset, I'm just gonna get stupid. I get stupid too. <laughs> In the name of Yeshua, I get yes. right up here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My wife be up there with a good. I'm gonna kill him. I just gonna yeah. play right in the <laughs> Thus said the Lord, because yes. he told me to come up here as he ain't given the strength to do. Yes. You guys don't understand, when I'm up here, I don't yes. feel no pain. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten times, the majority of the time I'm up here, I don't feel no pain because of the other yes. That's why I love to come up here. That's why I stay up here so long. Amen. Because after it's over, I got to go back to the land of life. <laughs> I got to deal with the monster. Yes. They're going to tell me the same thing. Follow the yellow brick road. I let you do work. <laughs> if it didn't work for you, how is it gonna work for me? Why do you follow the yellow brick road? <laughs> that don't make no sense. You ain't got a problem, you need to stop. I let the yellow brick road. What are you doing? <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. Don't you ever have me doing stupid stuff? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, I, I do the impossible, so you see me doing the impossible, mm -hmm. you know you can do it too. Yes. No matter how bad it may seem. Yes, all day. No matter what the world say. Yes. I told y'all a hundred times and I said to this day, how you wanna how, how do you defeat the flesh? You do the opposite of what yes. you right. Yes. If the flesh tell you to do it wrong, you just do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Flesh tell you don't talk to that person, you talk to that person. Yes. That's the truth. They say get mad, you don't. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. Therefore, I say unto you, Mr. Bonnery. Mm. 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 Twenty-five. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what, should, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more, and the body than raiment? Mm -hmm. I gotta stop here. They were taking on thought right there. Mm -hmm. It may be anxious. Yes. You must be anxious. Be anxious. If you're anxious about something, guess what? You're wrong. Well, there you go. I'm anxious. You should never walk around anxious. Yes. Thank you, Father. Ooh, y'all don't hear me. Uh -huh, yes, man. Thank you, Father. 
what does anxious mean? So, okay, let's look at it. It means to be anxious about, careful. Don't take no thought, that's the Hebrew. No. Take no thought. Be anxious, to be troubled with cares, mm. to care for, to look out for, to seek to promote one's interests. Mm. Caring everybody, that one? Yes. Anxious, greatly concerned, or solicited to us, whatever it means. It means very desirous to, very desirous to obtain something. So greatly concerned or very desirous to obtain something, respecting something future or unknown, being in painful suspense. Wow. How many know what I'm talking about? Yes. You great, it's on your mind. Yeah. You want to hurry up and get something that's in the future. Yeah. You want that, you want tomorrow to hurry up and get him. You want the next hour to hurry up and get him so you can go home. Yeah. Then you get to the point where you can't hardly sit there no more. You're going to go home anyway. Boy. That's being anxious. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Very careful. So let's be anxious. All that stuff, all that other wow. stuff goes into anxious. Restlessness, nervousness. All that stuff we talk oh, about. Insecurity. Goodness. All that stuff. Whenever you feel yourself oh. dealing with that in life, you are in the flesh. Yes. And, so. and, and the word that we're missing that everybody overlooked, including myself for the longest of time, mm -hmm. was take no thought. Yes. Somebody said take no thought. Take, take no, no thought. thought. It says take no thought. And, and we know it means to be anxious, right? Mm -hmm. But it's telling us to take no thought. What does it mean to take no thought? Because when you, when you look at that, take no thought, mm -hmm. that word there, it, it, it's a lot of interesting mm -hmm. things goes in there. I don't have time to go into the whole thing. But you'll see throughout scripture, even here, take no thought for tomorrow. That's what we're going to. Six and thirty four. Take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought of things. What does what is it talking about? Take no thought. What does it mean, thought? I know it means to be anxious. Don't let the anxious thoughts get to you. That's what basically what it's saying. Don't let what is thought? Somebody said, what is thought? What is thought? What is thought? I mean, you do it this, and then I got the road. That's that going to be it. Thoughts. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes. Okay. Take no thought. Okay. Thought. Let me read to you. How much is, I want you to stay with me if you really want to know what it means. I take no thoughts. I really want to know what a thought is. You already know, but put it in perspective. Okay. Thought is a property that which the mind thinks. So what the mind starts thinking about. I'm going somewhere, I thought it's not that easy. Thought is either the act or the operation of the mind. Stay with me. Mm -hmm. When attending to a particular subject or a thing, or it is an idea consequently to that operation. So a thought, a thought is when the mind is working. And then what, when that mind finished working, what it put out? Ah. The finished product. That would be a thought. Okay. Hmm. There was a lady you know. I she was trying to fight it. See, that's thinking. It's not how to fight it for me. You know how to fight it. I think that's a present. That's a thought. Gotcha. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. I said it again. Hmm. That lady came in here. I a package for me. I know it's for me. That's thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm working it out. Hmm. She got a present for me. That's a thought. Yes. My thought is she has a present for me. Yes. He said, don't produce anxious thoughts. Don't produce nervousness in your body. Thinking that they got you all crazy acting a fool. There's a monster out there. That's a that's a crazy thought. Yes. You said now you hear a you hear a sound boo 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 what's that sound oh no it might be a monster that's a thought yeah you go over and you and you have a dream and you dream about snakes mm -hmm. and you wake up now instead of you look at it instead of some warning so you look at it oh but right, that's a thought oh yeah all oh, the demons in the house that's a thought oh, yeah. you're all aggravated and anxious are you with me yes yeah. sir. It goes and talks about an idea, a conception. That's a thought. Mm -hmm. 
I wish to convey my thoughts. That's what it is. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Consideration, that's a thought. Opinion or judgment, that's a thought. All these are thoughts, design, wow. purposes. To listen to, that's a thought. Imaginations, that's thoughts. Are you with me? Yes, sir. All this stuff are thoughts. You're thinking, and then what you produce, what that imagination produce, would be a thought. Yes. All their thoughts are against me. That's that's Psalms 56 and 33. That's a that's all what they're thinking is against them or uh, causing them harm. Yes. Now here you go. Are you ready? Uh oh yes. Definition of thought: the inward reasoning, the workings of conscience. So your conscience and the things around you and how you think things should be. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you the conscious, uh, the conscious direct how you think about and feel about stuff. Yeah. You be hanging around people that think it's feeling is that stealing is okay, then you gonna think stealing is okay. Mm -hmm. Even though something then you're gonna be saying stealing is wrong, you have a conscious that say, hey, that's something that y'all put in you that has this right or wrong in it. Mm -hmm. And then you have the the, the direction, uh, I mean, the environment that, that says, hey, this is what everybody else thinks, so hey, I'm cool with it too. Mm. Consign, yeah, right. So, 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 what, what, is, what, what, is, what is going on? What, what, what it produce? What, 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 what? That's why you can't hang around people who think wrong. Yeah. Because you sit around and you're taking the wrong thoughts. Mm -hmm. Someone give you their idea. You know, when someone speaks, that is, and when they put thoughts to words, it becomes a lie. Yes, does. When you put thoughts to words, it becomes a lie. Especially those that have a life giving in forcing yes. them in us. Wow. You should say, My words are spirits and they are life. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow. The Father said, I watch over my word, make sure it do what I told you to do. Yes. That means it's a mind. Yes. See that? That means that bird can choose to do or not to do what the Father has said. Wow. He said, I watch over my bird to make sure it do what I propose it yes. to do. Yes. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. In the Old Testament, a lot of times, definition for bird is semen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when a bird, that's why when a bird go in you and take place, it produces a result. Yes. Wow. Take no thought to be solicitous. That's the def one definition of anxious, of not thinking. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Desirous to obtain something or anxious. That's what it says for thought, definition for thought. It means a small degree or quantity as a thought no longer, a thought better. All the stuff I just read. Are you listening to me? Uh -huh. All the stuff I just read to you what a thought is. When it says take no thought, it's telling you don't take a piece of something that was produced without the whole truth and allow it to rule. Case wow. in point. Case in point, doctor says, Parnell, if you don't get this operation, you're going to die. This is the truth. Story. Yes. If you don't have this procedure, you're gonna die. Emergency procedure. Your you have something jabbed in your abdomen, your stomach, and it's going to burst open and it's gonna go all over your body, you're gonna die if you don't have this emergency procedure. Is that right there? And Elder Ella Linnell was sitting there, I mean, Elder Flynn was sitting there with me, mm. and Elder Linnell was sitting there with me on part two. Elder Flynn was sitting right there with me and they told me, am I lying? No, nope, you're not lying. This is a true story. Yes. So what thoughts hit my mind? Man. Man, my goodness. I looked at Elder Flynn, <laughs> and I was speechless. Yes. All was going through my being was a big question mark. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yes. What in the world? Yes. <clears throat> and then Ella Flynn went to stuttering. 
And she said, I want your rubber. What? Whoa, what? Wait a minute. What? What? What we got to do? She said, I set up for so and so, so and so. And they're talking. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, they want to have surgery. I am on Kumina. Yes. This is what the father put through my head. But I learned not to listen to the flesh. The flesh was like, I'm going to die. Yes. Oh, I got to go call my wife and say goodbye. And make sure everyone knows that I'm going to the hospital. And to get this dangerous procedure, oh, I'm going to die. But I have been practicing. I've been fasting prayer. I know all that. And I push it to that. I know I got to really feel what God said. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at the situation. I put, I shut that up. Yeah. I'm not even talking to the other friend. Yeah. I'm sitting up there and I'm thinking. And and I said, okay, they want to do surgery. I'm on Kumanum. I need to be on the stuff medicine before they have surgery. They just can't cut on me. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned that. I said, that's a thing. Don't they have to put me on the stuff? Because she know more about this stuff than I do. Mm -hmm. Don't they have to put me on the other stuff? They just can't cut on me. She mentioned that to him. All of a sudden, yes. they scrambled and said, oh, well, we were postponing the surgery. Yes. Wait a minute. Okay. Hello. I thought you said I was finna die. Somewhere up in there, somebody lied. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so I did, I did not listen to my flesh and go crazy and start saying and producing yes. idle words and yes. words that would destroy me and send up at night worrying. Yep, yep, yep. Even though I ain't saying it was easy. Yep. But because of my training. Yes. This ain't happening overnight. Yes. Because I knew how to not listen to me. Yes. All me. And so then I'm right there. They, they mm -hmm. want me to do all this other stuff. And my wife is taking me. And she received a phone call. Oh, we finna do the surgery tomorrow. Then, oh, he's on Kubernetes. Oh, never mind. They yes. call it Castle that again. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, this is your ridiculous. Yes. It was like, what, six months later Man. before I had it. Exactly. Something that was told to me if I don't have it right now, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. Now, had I listened to them, yes. I would have died because they would have put me in there without any uh, the right Kubernetes stuff mm -hmm. in me because of my blood thinners, and I would have bled out. Yes. It wouldn't be able to stop the bleeding. But because Yah told me, Thank you, Father. and I did not, that I know great is on the inside. Yes. That, and I'm looking at it now. I ain't know it then, but I was walking according to Sean. Oh, yeah. I was walking according to peace. Wow. I call it walking in the spirit, which I do and which I have been doing it forever. Yeah. But like the Father told me, if, if you don't get into Sean, yeah. you can't walk in yes. the spirit. Are you listening to me, Sean? Yes, I'm mean. So he told us, don't be anxious for nothing. For no reason at all, yes. it's not okay to be anxious. Yes, Father. Are you with me? Yes. Ain't that what we just read? Yes. Being anxious for, for nothing. nothing. Or am I quoting the wrong scripture? No. Mr. Ward, am I quoting the wrong scripture? We said, take no thought for your life. And then the other one said, be anxious for nothing. Did I read that? Or did you read that? Uh, no, we stopped at verse 25. Well, we're going to read Be Anxious for Nothing. <laughs> it's all there. Take no thought for, take no thought saying, what shall we eat, what shall we put on? Mm -hmm. Take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow is sufficient of itself. Mm -hmm. Tell you over and over again, yes. take no thought for your life. You can believe it with my feet and take no thought. Be anxious for nothing but yes. by everything. Oh. That says be anxious for no, be anxious for nothing but by everything through fasting and prayer that your request will be. That's the finale. Yes. <laughs> that's only for alert. That's only for lifting. <laughs> Yeah, I should try and they say be careful for nothing. Yes. The okay. word careful is being anxious. Yes. Same word here, anxious. Be anxious for nothing. Yes. For but scripture tells us that. Yeah. We get back to it. That's that's for next week. Okay. 
Let me let me write down here. So I have to activate the other, the other thing. We stopped at verse 25. Guess what I got written down here? Started, before they started Matthew 25 in the first verse. <laughs> yes. But then I backed it up to 19. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes, sir. So the bottom line, what, what did we learn? We learned that we're fighting. Yes. Because a strong man must win. Yes. All right. Wait, we're not, we're not going into review mode. Play me some music. Please. Even if I'm not praying or nobody else, what mm -hmm. Just give me some music because it gets too quiet. Mm -hmm. And that music helps it go into your mind. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So we learned and we talked about today, are you listening? Yes, sir. That we are fighting. That we know that the world is trying to get us to go into this, this, this new, this, this frame of mind, this euphoric state. See, that alone right there is enough to give you strength. Yes. When you're watching something and you zoned out. You ever seen people watching TV and just be zoned out? Yes. I mean, this is a true story of someone in a euphoric state. This guy, I ain't saying no name, big male. Yes. Yeah. No name. He was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. and he was laying down. And he was in pain. Yeah. And mind you, he had a little pump already mm -hmm. for morphine. Yes. So he had the morphine pump, pump, pump. And they had the morphine pump set, so I'll come over deep. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was allowed to also take something for breakthrough pain. Mm -hmm. And so I asked my nurse for breakthrough pain mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah. And she go look on the list and she see I take morphine at home mm -hmm. and she see I take um, the, 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 the oxycodone. So she said, well, I'm, he already had the morphine pump. I'm just gonna give him more morphine. He can handle it, he take it at home. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the morphine I take at home is called time release. Mm -hmm. It's a real low dose that keeps me not in pain, bending over backwards, crying in pain, yeah. like I was the other day. Yeah. And this morphine she gave me, it's a real thing. Yes. So she came and gave me a real dose of morphine. I already got morphine in me. Mm -hmm. And so I zoned out. Yes. So they came, she came in later to do something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to sleep in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm alert most of the time. And I may zone out for like 30 minutes or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I'm up. So she went to call her my name. Not my name. She went to saying, okay, you need to get this. Come on, I gotta take this. I gotta something. She had to take my arm. Uh, you gotta do the stats. I heard everywhere she said, but I couldn't open my eyes. And I was trying to say help. Yeah. My look dropped down and this eye. Shut and went to shaking. Yeah. And I think I'm having a stroke. Yeah. I'm seeing a lady and I'm hollering, trying to say, Help. Uh -huh. Help. And she's looking at me and she's like, Okay, you need to, need to take this. Come on, I gotta take your vitals. I gotta take the vitals. Then she looked at me because she wasn't looking at me before. Yeah. Now, my half of my mouth is down. And stuff is running out my mouth. Mm. And she, I seen her eyes get big. Yeah. And she shook me. Put it up. Yeah. And snapped me back. Boom. And I snapped back. I'm like, ooh. I said, oh man, thank you so much. Uh -huh. I'm not lying. Yeah. And she said, she said, you okay? I said, yeah. You hear me hollering for help? Uh huh. And she said. I didn't know what you were doing. I just know it wasn't normal. That yeah. wasn't your normal behavior. Yeah. And she said, so I, I figured you was having a, you had too much morphine, mm -hmm. which turned out to be the fact. I was in an altered state of mind. Yeah. My body was doing what I didn't want it to do, and I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yes. Same situation. I was in college, mm -hmm. drinking, 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 drinking. Just watching Scarface. Every time Scarface cussed, we had to had said a certain cuss word, we had to take a shot of gin. Ooh, Anybody ever seen Scarface? 
know that before 30 minutes of the movie, he said this customer at least 100 pounds. Oh, my goodness. So we taking the chin. Everybody else falling out, you know, quit. No, no, no. Because we were supposed to go to a party. I'm competitive. I wanted to win. And so I won. You win in front of me. Right. Now I drunk about a half a fifth of gin. So there's one dude challenged me. Oh, you ain't nothing. You know, it's not a drinking contest. Me, I'm already in an awesome state of mind. Yeah. You dare challenge me? I got the win in everything. That's the way I was. I, I'm just competitive. Mm -hmm. And so we have a drinking contest. And so I didn't know at the time, but it was a whole bunch of people around us. And so he would drink and then he would spit it out. And I was holding mine in. They were, they were just, these are my friends. Right. They are supposedly want to see me drunk because they never see me drunk because I never, I didn't believe in getting drunk. Mm -hmm. Even though I wasn't saved at this time, I still thought getting drunk was wrong. Yeah. Because you're not in control of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted to be a sloppy drunk. Yeah. I thought that is stupid. Why would you drink that much? Mm -hmm. Did you know I fell right into the devil's trap? Just what I didn't want it to do. Yeah. I was doing it. And I thought pretty sure this guy, I know he can't drink. He take two hits, it's over with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how is he still standing? Yeah. But I'm in an altered state of mind, so I can't think correctly. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I'm on the floor. And dude standing over me, punching me. I can't wake up. Boom! I mean, he just punched me. And I'm, I look, I'm looking at him. What well, happened to my best friend? They got jumped. They beat him up bad. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to wake me up to come help him fight. Mm -hmm. And I'm just there. I couldn't move him. Yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, he literally punched me with his fist. I mean, my mouth was bleeding. Boom! And I can't move. He's laying there. And then he pushed me down. Oh, man, look at this thing. just And I just laid there. And I was eight. I saw his girlfriend come in. And they calling him down. I'm trying to, she calling him down. And then they come checking on me. Like, he's still breathing. I, I'm seeing all of this. Like, I'm, my mind is conscious. But... I can't get my body to work. Yeah. Then finally, I just opened my eyes and I was able to lift my neck. <sighs> I got up and I walked from that guy's house home. And I was so grateful. I got on my knees and I cried like a baby. Mm -hmm. So I thought I had died. Yeah. I knew nothing about that stuff. And I'm so thankful that I didn't die and go to hell. Yeah. I was just crying and I was just crying. And I smelled like gin and I took a shower and I couldn't get the smell off me. Mm -hmm. It just was there. And for three days, I was sick. Not throwing up in there, it's just a smell just nauseated me. And I just, to this day, I can't smell it. It just makes me sick. Mm -hmm. And I could not believe that I fell for such a stupid, stupid thing. Mm -hmm. That's not me. I don't never do nothing. Yeah. And I was thinking about all these people that have died, not doing, they never do nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Just all of a sudden, one ship got them from thinking normal, because they're being flooded with the wrong thoughts. Y'all didn't hear me up in here. Mm -hmm. And the very thing you say you would not do, yeah. you did. See, and I'm so upset because something similar, on a, not drinking, but something else happened one time before. Yeah. And I said, I'll never get caught in that situation again. Mm -hmm. But then in drinking, it happened. Mm -hmm. See, you can't be a halfway son. Yeah. You can't be a halfway Christian. Mm -hmm. I knew the ways of right and wrong, but I left the mm -hmm. And I was saying the same thing you were saying. But I was trying to live in his world, in my world. It didn't work. Yeah. And the enemy constantly had me on this foot, constantly torturing me. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of stuff happen to me in those few months. Mm -hmm. And I could not believe, I was like, how stupid mm -hmm. can you be? And the only thing good that happened to me was, let me show you how y'all works. Mm -hmm. Court. Mm -hmm. Somebody said court. 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 I thought 
I was going to jail. I had to go to court because the nitwits thought I wasn't taking care of my child. Mm -hmm. And I was. Yes. So I went to court and the first, that's the first time I had seen male in my life. Almost a year. And I was in still in love with her. Yes. And she don't know how bad, I just want to say I'm sorry. But I had somebody with me, and I had to act no. tough. Yes. And I walked in there, and I just knew I was going to jail. No reason of my own. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, through the mercy and grace of y'all. Mm -hmm. But through that, got me back in touch with him. Mm -hmm. And my life has never been the same. I didn't know she still loved me. Mm -hmm. I took a chance, so they say, you know, I know ain't no chance. Mm -hmm. And because of something that I thought was so terrible that happened to my life, mm -hmm. it was young, saying, come on back home. Thank you, Father. This is the truth, isn't it? Yeah. See, see, I, 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 I know you're not understanding it. I know you're like, well, you know, you did wrong, and y'all call you back. Y'all will make a way for you to come back. If you're sincere, and I was sincere in everything I did, everything I, I loved hard, I played, everything I did, I was 100% secure. And when my father called me, and I saw Nell, and I was like, wow. And I knew we meant we were supposed to be together. I said, I can't be done no more. And I said, I do. I do. And that's why I refused. And she'll tell you. I refuse to leave my home. I refuse to leave what I mean by home, my people. Mm -hmm. I refuse to walk away, no matter how bad it gets. And I have been tested and tried. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Why? Because of Shama, because of peace. Yes. You got to make a decision. Pastor, we already made that decision. I thought I did too. See, you keep staying close to the world, you're going to find yourself doing something. Mm -hmm. But you never said, did you say, I would never do it? Yes. You have to draw that line and say, I'm 100% for you. Yes. I'm 100% for you, Father. Yes. And I guarantee you, the changes that you've been struggling with, he'll take them away. If you trust him, I'm going to hear him say not tonight, right quick. Good, 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 good. If you want to be delivered, if you have something, a trouble, or whatever, if you want to be delivered, come on up and I'll pray for you. If you're not, don't worry about it. If you if you there, that's cool. If you want to be delivered, come on up. And I'll pray. Father, right now, in the name of Yeshua, I thank you for your mercy and your grace, Father. I thank you for leading us and guiding us in the truth, Father. And I thank you for this night, Father. Beyond my understanding, beyond my reasoning, you have us here, Father. And so, Father, right now, I lift up what that is to you, and I ask you, Father, to fully make him understand what it means to submit to you. To fully find, to give him that opportunity to stay in the midst of you, not playing games, but giving you his whole entire life. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, does I ask you to make a declaration to the Father, because you got to confess him before men, and you got to say with your mind that you're through with the whole life. Totally finished given everything to land in that cross. That's what we're going to declare right now in the name of Yeshua. I want you to follow me and 
Say what I say if you mean it. If you don't mean it, don't say it. Right now, if you have to mean right now, right now, I give you my life. I give you my life. Yahweh. Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua. I thank you. I thank you. For forgiving me. For forgiving me. I thank you. I thank you. For receiving me. For receiving me. Father. Father. I give you. I give you. My entire life. My entire life. Father. Father. Make me right. Make me right. Father. Father. Make me whole. Make me whole. Father. Father. I am yours. I am yours. Completely. Completely. Yours. Yours. Receive me. Receive me. In the name. In the name. Of Yeshua. Of Yeshua. Now go ahead and give him some praise. Thank you. Come on, get a father hand. Clap his There is a lift. Hallelujah. Turn, 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 turn the music up. Uh, Glory. Turn, 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 turn,
God. I hear the song in my spirit. I know it's late, and and, and, if, and if people want to go, I understand that, but I got to be obedient to the spirit of God. And I hear this song, and he's telling me to play it. And I don't, anybody know anything about me? No, I don't move in the flesh. But this song is ringing out in my spirit. There is a lifting of hands. And I don't know how to listen to it. That's what the weird thing about it. Y'all hear me out there? Yes, sir. There is a lifting of hands.
that peace. Feeling in my spirit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You want to worship him again. You want to worship him. He is so worthy. You have been redeemed and brought back. Walk in that freedom knowing that greater is he that's on the inside of you than he that is in the world. You got to know it and walk in it. I'm telling you, in the midst of this battle, in the midst of this fight, you got to know from where your help coming from. Jump no thought. Don't you dare be anxious about tomorrow. You give it all to him. And he says, seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, the right thing to do, what he would do. And all these things shall be added woo, unto you. You're going to get it. You're going to get it when you seek him first. But there is a lifting of hand, and I know from which my help cometh. My help coming from Yahweh. My help coming from him. Y'all act like y'all don't hear me. My help coming from him. Woo! Yeah, all the other stuff is nice, but my help coming from him. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Father. Glory. Thank you, Father. I'm done. Oh, when it's all said and done, Mr. Warren. Hallelujah. When it's all said and done, I heard you. I heard you in the midst of all of that. When it's all said and done. When you've done all you can. After that, you stand. Somebody say, I'm standing. I'm standing. After you've done all that you can do, that's when you stand. Are you standing? After you've done all you can, I said, after. You done all, all you can. And after you done all you can, you just stand. <coughs> yeah, you just stand. Glory, glory, you just glory. stand. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on up, Ellen. Do your thing. Come on, give her a hand as she comes up. Chanel is in a few days. It is a mandatory healthy hair with Chanel, according to Minister Chanel. And she sent out an email. The end of the thingy. Wrap it up. Fill it out. Let's have fun with it. Amen. Amen. So uh, please make sure you check your email and complete it. It should be a fun time and also a learning experience for each one of us. Amen. Also, we have uh, coming up the zone. The zone. The zone. Yes, and also Minister Chanel will be doing the Zoom. She got a busy weekend, yes. Oh, man, and you know what? Guess what? You, me, and y'all is on 60. Yes, still on 60. Come and hang out with the Father. Oh, man, all the anointed in Gibeon. Oh, man. And I believe that's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap it up. That's it, right? Um, yes, and we're gonna wrap it up in uh, in this thing. Uh, Minister Chanel is trying to get Pastor's attention. Yes. Um. Now just just have your uh, check Facebook, Facebook and stuff, and have your checking messages for the zone right here. Okay. Make sure you, again, check. Make sure you check in Facebook. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. And maybe an announcement upcoming for in regards to the zone. 
Amen. So uh, also continue, please continue to pray. Be watchful and prayerful. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you so much. Father, we thank you for your word on tonight. We thank you for your anointing in this place. We just thank you for just loving us so in such a magnificent way. Father, we love you. And we praise you. We ask that you would just go with each one of us. As we go to our various places of destination, help us to stand, Father. Help us to stand in you. Help us to be determined to do your will, to love you in the right way by obeying your word. Father, we thank you. We lift up our pastor to you. And we ask, Father, that you will restore the virtue that has gone out of him on tonight. Father, that you would continue to lead and guide him into all truth. And you will give him that strategy on how to fight, how to continue to stand, how to walk in shalom. That shama shalom. Father, we just love you. We praise you for who you are. And we ask that you just continue to move in our RTM family. Father, that you continue to protect Elder Lamel where she is, and that you will minister to her, Father, and that minister born of Father. We thank you for you touching his body even now. We thank you for the sign of stuff coming in the end in the, in the line. Father, we just glorify your name. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your blessing, Brother MT, where he's at, Father, for your continued protection, Father. We love you. We praise you for your people. We give you praise for who you are, Father. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, and Brother Senior, Father, we thank you for Brother Senior. We thank you for you touching him and keeping him and protecting him. Father, we thank you for it. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, listen to your name and say, You shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. The truth. The truth. It is. It is. What it is. What it is. Shalom. Facebook, I got a, uh, 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 a video sent by me to me. I think it's on the other of the It's by uh, Jamie Grace. I recommend all people, single, married, watch it. I think it's very, very funny and very, very good. Uh, and I would, I want you guys to watch it because uh, I think it's a very good video. And she has my ultimate respect because uh, young people, I don't know if you men uh, talk like that. Amen? Amen. So I want, to, I want to say that before you hit the door. And uh, remember, we are at war. And remember, as this song, that's why I'm playing it. After you've done everything you know to do, I, I mean, when even when it's seen, it's all over. You stand on his promises. You stand You stand on his promises. You stand on it because without that, you're not going to make it. Amen. I'll tell you that That's right fine. now. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring it up. Thank and hopefully we can get the plan as you guys vacate the building. But um, you must really, really hear this song. Um, please stand. Amen. You are this mess. I can't emphasize it enough. Because everyone is being tested this week. Yes. And I don't think you realize how important it is. So you don't understand. Amen.